The master of Jackdaw's castle, John Joe O'Neill, landed the Coral Welsh National last season with Synchronised, and the JP McManus-owned eight-year-old heads the trainer's four-strong team for this year's big race. At this moment in time, um, the only doubtful one would be Alfie Sherrod, and really probably the ground might not be just to his liking, you know, but um, he's in good form, and if everything comes up right, they'll all go, yeah. Uh, Synchronised... Um, Obviously, loves the soft ground and loves Chepstow, so he's the obvious choice, you know. Um, he's in great form. Galaxy Rock is in great form. Um, seems to get the trip well and uh, jumps away nicely. Um, not sure about the ground for him either. I think he's a better has some better ground, but um, he has won on, on softer, heavy ground over hurdles, but um, in a different competition, like you know. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. But he, he's in good nick. And um, Abba Supreme, he'd be a bit like synchronised, he likes to cut in the ground and that. Um, he's in good old form with himself at home. And um, just a little bit tight for time to whether he'll be 100% ready or not. But he's, if, he's, if he's everything is good with him, he'll definitely take his chance, you know. Mm -hmm. Synchronised, I heard you mention before he might have an entry in the Lexus. How likely would he be to be diverted there? Well, it's like last year, you know. Um, Chepster did a great job in getting the race back on, you know, when it was off with the snow and the rain and all the rest of it. And, um, uh, you know, if there was a problem with it, like, and the ground was heavy in the Lexus, I'd say it's an, op an option, it's keeping our options open, really. Um, I'd say the Welsh National is his favourite. Um, but if things went wrong, you never know what's going to happen in a few weeks. But as we're speaking now, everything is OK and we'll be going for the Welsh National, you know. And the form of Galaxy Rocks race at Cheltenham really working out well with the likes of Carruthers, Fairlong, Hay Big Spender all beating in behind. You must be really pleased with them. Yeah, it's working out well and it depends on how much they needed the race and how fit we were on the day. You know, we were pretty pretty well forward um, going on the form. He's got obviously a great chance if he goes on the ground and the conditions on the day. You know, he's um, jumping well <coughs> at the moment, dare I say it. And, um, he, he's, he's, oh, he's a live chance, yeah, he's in great form, so um, I wouldn't mind riding him anyway. <laughs> if, if it did come up testing, is there another race you'd have in mind for him? Well, I, I think we'd probably, do, not really is the answer, um, we'd probably take our chance, you know, because until you run you don't know whether the ground is right or wrong for him, you know. And it's a good prize and at the end of the day it's the Welsh National. So the plan is to run him there at the moment. Um, if he didn't go there we probably wouldn't be in a rush to go anywhere with him for a week or two after that, you know. And longer term, are you thinking Aintree for, for that one? Well, he's, he'd get in at the moment anyway with his handicap rating, you know, so it's an option. But I'd like to see him run here first and then or in another good long distance race and we'll see how we go. But he definitely be make, will be making the entry anyway. Also on course for entry is 2010 Grand National hero Don't Push It. The 11 year old was third to Bala Briggs in this year's race and back in action with a pleasing sixth over hurdles at Cheltenham last month. He's in great form at home. Um, he's in good shape, he's running well. He ran well at Cheltenham last time over hurdles. Um, he seems to have the appetite for the job still, so that's the main thing really. And we're very happy with him, so that's the plan, you know. So hopefully get a run in him or maybe two before the national and here we come. Are they likely to be over hurdles? It wouldn't really matter whatever suits him at the time when he's right, you know. And he, as he's getting a little bit older, he's a little bit more delicate, you know. And, and just having him right for those runs, you know. So it wouldn't matter whether it's over fences or hurdles really because... He is where he is in the handicap size and um, um, it's just where the conditions would be right for him when he's right, you know. And have you got any news on Alberta's run, winning comeback at Aintree, but um, off the track since? Yeah, um, scanned well the other day and the treatment seems to be working. It's early days yet. We scan him every month from here on. Um, he is swimming now, so that's a good sign. Um, um, plan obviously is to go back for the Ryanair and try and get a race or two in him before then but um, it all depends on how it's healing and touch wood at the moment it's, it's going the right way it appears to be going the right way at the moment yeah. and, and you think at his age he, he could come back from an injury like this? 
I hope so. You know, ligaments and suspensions are tricky ones. You know, you can never give a forecast on them, really. Sometimes they're going great and all of a sudden it just stops and we just have played play that by ear, really. But the vets are very hopeful at the moment and he's in great form with himself and we can only be hopeful. We can't be confident at this stage, you know.